गाना ही बस अभी आया था मेरा डंकी में एक चलवे वतना नाम से बट दिस इज अ फुल एल्बम और बहुत मज़ा आया एक अलग दुनिया है इस फिल्म में जो आप देखेंगे जल्दी ही और उस दुनिया में बहुत ही नैरेटिव ड्रिवन सॉन्ग्स हैं कोई भी गाना फिल्म से जुदा नहीं है फिल्म का हिस्सा है और फिल्म का नैरेटिव आगे बढ़ाता है सो सो यह आपका एक सवाल था मैंने दो जवाब दे दिए दूसरा सवाल अब समझ <laughs> है क्या था <laughs> ये जो फिल्म की नैरेटिव की बात करें द सॉन्ग द रिसोर्ट हाउस ब्रिलियंट इट डज गो फॉरवर्ड लाइक दैट संजय जी यू नो लोग ऑलवेज बोलते हैं कि जब फिल्म में ऑडियंस आती है ना या तो स्टार के लिए आएगी या स्केल के लिए आजकल स्केल बड़ा अच्छा शब्द यूज करते हैं हम बचपन में तो सिर्फ वो स्केल होता था हाउ बिग इज द फिल्म नहीं तो कॉन्सेप्ट होता है एज ए प्रोड्यूसर आपको क्या पसंद है मतलब व्हाट इज इट दैट यू लुक फॉर जब आप यस कर जाते हैं पिक्चर के लिए कॉन्टेंट ओके एंड एंड द मेकअप जी श्री राम और मेरी ये तीसरी फिल्म है साथ में जी जॉनी गद्दार अंधाधुन and merry christmas what a track record sir fantastic i mean so then you must be little scared also ki kya us because yahan pe comparison mein aadhi duniya mar jati hai so do you do you have that comparison in your head also ki ye uske jaise ho critically acclaimed ho wagera you know hamare sath shri ram hai wo ekdam hamesha aapko zameen pe rakhta hai so it works very well ramesh ji do you ever get stressed when aapko life mein kabhi stress karte hue nahi dekha hai aap badi filme banate hain beautiful filme banate hain concept filme banate hain You know, as a producer, आपके लिए क्या चीज होती है कि ओके आई पिक दिस दिस इज एक्साइटिंग मी डेफिनेटली स्टोरी तो है पहली थिंग और श्री राम हमेशा अपनी नरेशन पंद्रह मिनट में ही सुनाते हैं एक टाइम पे तो मैं अंधा धुन का भी पार्ट होने वाला था लेकिन वो हमने इनको भी मालूम है वो जर्नी सब वीरों को सुनाई किसी को पंद्रह मिनट में समझ नहीं आई बाद में रिलीज होने के बाद हर एक्टर का फोन आया हमको करनी है ये पिक्चर सर छह साल से अभी तक लोग लास्ट सीन देख रहे हैं कि क्या हुआ है लास्ट सीन में पंद्रह मिनट कैसे समझेंगे तो श्री राम इज ही नोज हिज जॉब वेल और जो भी उन्होंने पिक्चरें बनाई मैं तो समझता एक हसीना थी से लेके जॉनी गदार से लेके जितनी भी पिक्चरें बनाई सब बहुत अच्छी पिक्चरें बनाई और एक बहुत अच्छी थ्रिलर की जो एक होती है ना जो ऑडियंस को कॉन्फिडेंस में लेके आप थ्रिलर बनाओ तो दैट्स अ वेरी गुड आई थिंक ऐसा डायरेक्टर और कोई नहीं है हमारे हिंदी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में दैट्स ओनली श्री राम आई एग्री विद दैट पूजा जी व्हेन यू आर सिटिंग एंड एंड डिसाइडिंग लाइक दिस 15 मिनट नरेशन यू आर आल्सो देयर यू आर राइटिंग इट एंड मेकिंग श्योर द ट्विस्ट्स एंड टर्न्स आर फैंटास्टिक आर यू वरिड दिस 15 मिनट्स शुड शुड समटाइम्स यू लुक एट एन एक्टर से थोड़ा 40 मिनट्स कर देंगे सो डू एक्सप्लेन अ लिटिल बिट मोर नो नो आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी ऑर्गेनिक Shiram is trying to when when you're asking about narrating to actors True. the idea is to give them a sense of what the movie is more a um a holistic sense of the movie rather than the twists and turns ab iske baad ye hua iske baad wo hua is tarah ka narration shiram karte nahi hai uh the uh, i think uh, uh, as far as the writing is concerned we we tend to uh, write in detail and then it, it, the, a version of it is narrated and then a version of it is shot that is where the details come in really so i don't aisa to kabhi nahi ke acha thoda aur bata denge aisa kuch nahi i think he puts all his cards on the table uh, he says these are the characters uh, all the actors who come in kind of know what they are signing up for so I think it works. Sriram sir, do you, is narration the most important? Is it like the closure? <coughs> when, you, when you say that there's an investment bank has to go and close the deal, can you mess up a really good script with a very bad narration with a big actor? Do you think that's ever happened? See, sometimes that's happened to me also. Like you know that they are not probably saying it properly and so on. So, but I feel uh, a good story you can't narrate badly really. You know, and खराब story होगा तो बहुत drama करके भी वो narration fake लगता है वो आप सुन भी नहीं रहे. was it tough to narrate or was it like an immediate see there has to be you're an isi stamp also no no it's not difficult. in fact to vijay narrated on zoom you know 
One sec, I think the mic's off. One sec, one sec. Mic on? Yeah. वो विजय को मैंने जूम में नरेट किया था। He was in Chennai तो मैंने नरेट किया और बस he enjoyed the thing. It was about नहीं पंद्रह मिनट इस sometimes it's flexible. I thought this movie is going to be ninety minutes without interval लेकिन इसमें interval है। अच्छा। तो theatre owners will be very happy. I think we get more shows also. Girish, good to see you. It's been a while. You know, whenever you see like a trailer out there, अंदर से कावाज निकलती। You are part of the family. You yourself are come on screen also. When you see your film out there. Papa, it's nice. It works well. Does that come out from, you know, your instincts of the Torani Parivar? That's like, you know how I wake up in the morning? Bodo chai. <laughs> so, it's an innate answer. And Are you allowed to say, I didn't like it a little bit? Private, yes. Okay. But, uh, but I think uh, if you see our track record, yeah. coming from, as uh, Sanjay sir said, Ozar and The Race, um, we made Jappya Kisi Se Hota Hai, so many films yeah. uh, over the course of our uh, uh, life story of our tips. Yeah. I think uh, we have a knack and Touchwood, we have one of the best success ratios in terms of hit films. Yeah. Touchwood, that's been working for us and I think with good team members, good cast and crew, it's, it's all uh, cherry on the cake. Yeah, this one's going to have both sides, man. Critical acclaim as well as commercial success. Yes, Kival ji, when you film the entry in the film, after the film's product, आपका कोई इसमें ओपिनियन चल रहा होता है या सिर्फ बॉक्स ऑफिस दिखा रहे हैं वेरी गुड बॉक्स ऑफिस अच्छा चलेगा वही चलना चाहिए प्रोड्यूसर को यही लगना चाहिए हैप्पी न्यू ईयर मैं डिफरेंट फील्ड से हूँ आई एम नॉट फ्रॉम द फिल्म डस्टी मेरा बड़ा बचपन से खाब था कि मैं फिल्म डस्टी में आऊँ कुछ अच्छा करूँ संजय रोत्रे का मैं थैंक्स करता हूँ जो मुझे इसमें लेकर आए और राघवंश के साथ मुझे काम करने का मौका मिला मैं दो फिल्म में प्रोड्यूसर हूँ अंधाधुन में और मेरी क्विस्ट में Sir, you know the box office very easily, sir. Return on investment is very high, it works. Just before I open out to the public as well, Katrina, I'm going to ask you this. You know, whenever you, uh, you're out there in the middle of the film and you're seeing it unravel, this one is a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Would you, you know, it does it, do you, can you get like a little bit uh, stuck and say that, you know, should I, I, I only listen to Sri Ram, sir, or, you know, you're saying there's a lot that can happen because I've heard that you're superbly rehearsed, perfect on time, as far as your dialogues are concerned, the script is concerned, all that is concerned. This is so much a one-on-one -on -one relationship between you and Vijay out there. Do you prefer this kind of sometimes, you know, this kind of cinema that comes out that you'll say, ah, I'm really happy with this, a big thumbs up to this kind of cinema. As compared to say, magnum opus, you know, which is anyway going to work. Like when you have a, a, a yeah, when you have a one-on-one -on -one film like this, you know, would you prefer this kind of cinema, like more, you know, like say on a, you know, when you intimate, uh, yeah, rather than like say magnum opus all the time, which no. you're more, where people are more accustomed to watching with you. I think that um, as an actor, you're looking to tell a story and be part of a story, which is really interesting. And for me, Merry Christmas ticked all those boxes. It was. A really, really unique journey, a unique story about two fascinating characters. And the minute I heard it, I was hooked. I'm not observing or I'm not calculating. That goes into calculating. Of course, there are high octane, you know, big action drama films. And that's wonderful. That's a certain type of cinema. But there are also more intimate, um, unique stories to be told. And that story has to be told at a scale that is suitable for that particular kahani. And I think and for an actor to be able to do both is what we're supposed to be doing and what um, I personally enjoy doing. And like I said, for me, this was a Shiram Raghavan film that I thought had a fantastic story. And I was excited to be part of the journey. It was a very interesting journey, actually. There's many parts of the journey that even uh, Sir has not shared yet. There were many twists and turns even in the journey of making- Shooting of it. Yeah. E even before we got on set, it had a lot of, um, had, a, had a life of its own. And when it finally kind of landed up um, as uh, me and Vijay being in the film, the first day of kind of interaction for me was very fascinating. The minute I uh, start, I heard Vijay describe and talk about a scene, I instantly realized, okay, this is a person who sees things in such a unique way that I can never see a scene in that way. And for me, that was really exciting to be able to come together and work with people who very evidently see things completely different to the way I would um, have a take on something. And for all three of us to come together, and um, Sir does a lot of rehearsals, and we, uh, we would do the workshop on the actual set for about, I think it was a week, 
before we started shoot. And they were, I was always like, so sir, when do we start? There was no commitment of when we start. We'll start when it's ready, when he's feeling it. And I think that process was very unique for me as an actor and extremely, uh, it was extremely magical, I think, to be able to have been a part of this process of Merry Christmas. Yeah, this one's nice on the, on the report card of your own also, you know, that you've done. But you were very true about him looking at it in a very unique way. He mentioned about the elephant, but not once did he say the gray color. If it was red or green. So, so I realized when you were talking about the elephant also, from the director's perspective also, it's green, yours is red. We would have all thought one option should have been the gray color. So when she was saying that you see things very differently, I do agree that you see things very differently. One last question, Shriram sir, before I open out. When you make a hood on it, or you make like this twists and turns, that's what we assume with a film like this. When you see the final cut, can you have the itch to change few things? But then we say, ah, this is not come out exactly as I thought. Have you had that in the past with your films also? Because they always have these turns. No, if, till, if we, keep, we keep watching the film, we even show it to a few friends and colleagues who are like, you know, who will be able to tell us the truth. So by the time it's ready, I mean, it's, the final cut is only when we are happy. I mean, so that way there's no issue. And were you, uh, but like when, when we go back to Antadun also, we are shocked at the number of turns. Even this film will have so many turns. Are you able to shock the audience in this case that is watching it for the first time? Well, about this film, I won't yeah. talk now, but uh, let them watch and let them see. But uh, what I'm saying is that when you watch a thriller or a film like this, na, the audience is very engaged and they are making up their own story. They are trying to say, okay, abhi ye hoga, abhi ye hoga. Now, how much you can subvert that, how much you can sort of give them a surprise within, they are also writing their own script while the movie is on. So, it is, that is the fun, I think. You know? I think it worked well. We'll open up to the audience and uh, we've got a mic that is actually, yeah, right there, please. Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Uh, my question is for Katrina. 